What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: I didn't join politics to solve Nigeria's problem. Rotimi Amechi reveals. A former governor of River State, who happened to be the Minister of Transportation in Nigeria, Rotimi Amechi, has revealed why he joined politics in the country. Amechi said that contrary to popular opinion, he did not become a politician to be a leader or to solve problems in the country. The minister pointed out that he delved into politics because of the issue of unemployment in Nigeria, Premium Times reports. He stated, I didn't join politics because I wanted to be a leader or because I wanted to solve Nigeria's problem. I joined because of unemployment. I also believe there is a part that Grace played in it. Amici admitted that the poor in the country are yet to be properly represented and that it is in the hands of the well to do manage to manage the situation to the advantage of the less privileged. The minister said the poor are still here. I doubt if they will go away soon. What happens is the elite, whether the capitalists or socialists, must manage them in such a way that they can be provided for. According to the report, Rotimi Amechi did not submit the name of Dakuku Peter Side for reappointment as Nimasa Director General. The report, citing sources in the presidency, said Amechi favored another candidate for the position. The sources said the presidency, however, rejected Amechi's choice and decided to pick Bashar Jamo as a new executive director of the agency. Jamo was reportedly appointed by President Muhammadu Bari to replace Peter Said after the expiration of his four years in office. All right, uh, this is Rotimi Amechi, is a minister of transportation in the present dispensation of Buhari's government. He has made a startling revelation. You get that he did not join politics to solve Nigeria's problem upon the fact that as at when he joined he knew nigeria had a problem but he said he never joined to solve the country's problem neither did he join to become a leader you get so looking at it looking back now he has become something he is now one of the top cabinet member in Buhari's government you get at least if you mention five persons or even three if you mention the first three cabinet in Buhari's government Rotimi Amechi is amongst them. But look at what he is saying uh, right now. And you guess what? What he has just said now, you understand me, makes me to remember what he said in a prelude to the 2019 election where Reno Omokri actually leaked uh, Rotimi Amechi's secret audio. You get there were secret recordings that were actually uh, recorded of Amechi making some serious. A statement you get and in one of the audio he said that this country can never be repaired that the only way for this country the only solution to this country is for everybody to die and then a new country emerge out of that that is what Rotimi Amechi was caught saying last year you get me so you can see here that this is a normal psyche is a normal psyche of all will be politicians and the current politicians today who are in the country they are not here to, to serve anybody you get they are not here to they are not here for you it's just like the police is not here to protect you the police are there to protect the politicians and to protect federal government assets that is it is not for the civilian you get me and so also too you see that even dino malaye dino malaye who was a former senator you know, so he made a, 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 a outstanding statement. He made a startling statement. And what did he say? Dino Malaya said just last month, he said that he, he himself has failed Nigerians as politicians. He said him, together with all politicians in the country, have failed Nigeria. That is what Dino Malaya said. You can Google it out. He said he has failed Nigerians. Now, that is a politician saying, Rotimi Amechi is a politician. You get, look at what he said. And that is why you see corruption looting 
everywhere. You, you hardly see a governor that is not corrupt. You hardly, there is none. All of them who go into, into politics are there to steal. You get, no matter how holy you are, and once you step in there, you become a devil. So, and also to, I want to add this. Tunde Bakare, a lot of you know him. Tunde Bakare says that if Wari wants to start his corruption fight, he should start from the church. He should get him arrested with all the general overseers, that they are all corrupt. That's what he said. He did not exempt himself. You get me? He did not exempt himself, but he included himself. Now, we have gotten three case studies now. Rotimi Amechi said he didn't go into politics to solve Nigeria's problem. You get it? And then Dino Malaya said that they have failed him together with all politicians have failed Nigerians. And then Tunde Bakare, you know, in 2015, said that if Buhari should start his corruption fight, start with the church and he should arrest him first and then arrest every other person that they are all corrupt. Now, why will he say that? Everybody look up to the church, you know, Sami, for reprieve, for consolation, for solution. The church is supposed to have a solution, but what do we see in the church? We see the highest form of extortion ever. We see the highest form of extortion. And even this lockdown, even this coronavirus have, have exposed a lot of our pastors. Do you know that even, okay, I don't even need to ask you whether even how you know. You should know, unless you are living under a rock. That under this lockdown, under this coronavirus period, on, when Nigerians are suffering, no work, no nothing, economy shut down, pastors are demanding for offering and tithes and seed feet. So you can see here that the entire system is a rot. And that was why Amechi said that this country cannot be repaired. I guess maybe he, he took it, he went too far anyway. When he made that statement that everybody should die, that the best thing is for everybody should die, and then this country should start again with a new fresh set of people. You get me? So people, don't be blindfolded. Don't be blind. A lot of people have died. Look at this imagery. These imagery are the people used during election. They use them during election, but today they've abandoned them. They've abandoned them, and those people are running toward the south here because they, they think there's a safe haven here. You get me? They abandoned them. What about the one million boys in Lagos that constitute the menace during the lockdown? These one million boys are those staff that were used during election. After election, they abandoned them. Now these boys are hungry. They began to vent their anger on the population, on the people, because these people have abandoned. So you see here that... They, 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 where we are going to, we are heading toward the deep abyss. I mean, this country. And guess what? God himself does not see this Nigeria as a country. He doesn't see it as a country. God deals with people personally, on a personal basis in this country. He doesn't deal with it as a soul, as a country, because of what has, is happening in this country. Remember just a few months ago, the leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un, said that if given an opportunity again that he will recolonize Nigeria and Africa again, that it appears we have not learned anything from our colonization. So guys, you see here that there is a problem. It appears as if our own mumu, our mumu is factory fitted. It's as if now it's carry come. No, serious. It appears it is is caricom because we, when you show people, you tell them the truth. Look at our ministers, so-called gospel ministers. Most of them, twenty years back, thirty years back, they were as poor as church rats. But today, they are private aircraft. Their children school in the best school in the in the world. They themselves drive the most flamboyant and exotic cars, have private jets, and then the poor around them, none of them cares about the poor again. But rather what they do, they extort. In the name of God, they extort tight from you. 
Why Jesus was on earth, they claim they are the follower of Jesus. But Jesus says, by their fruit you shall know them. By their fruit you shall know them. And what does Jesus mean? He's telling you that you don't need spirit of discernment to know that this person is a wolf in sheep clothing. He is there to devour the sheep. And that is what is happening to you. And Peter says in the end time, they are going to make merchandise of you, is what is happening today. When Jesus was on earth, did he collect tithe? He never collected tithe because he was not of the tribe of Levi. He was not of the tribe of Levi. You get it? So he didn't collect tithe. And the apostles too, they did not collect tithe. And the Bible let us to know that, the Bible led us to know that the principles, the foundation of the church is built. The church is built on the foundations of the, on, of the apostles and the prophet and Jesus Christ himself being the cornerstone. Jesus never collected tithe. Paul never stressed on it. Peter never stressed on it. The entire apostle never stressed on tithe. But do you know what they stressed on? They stressed on cheerful giving. A giving that comes from the heart. The Bible says God loves a cheerful giver. So you can see why Tunde Bakare said that all this, of these ministers, they are all criminals. They are corrupt and they should be arrested and sent to Kirikiri prison they all know jesus says that they stand on the way of the kingdom of god they themselves will not go in but they stand on the way to block others from going in a word is enough for the wise guys our leaders so called don't have solution for us cry unto god look inward you have something you have what it takes to succeed pray to god to tell you who you are and to help you jesus say when you want to pray pray to your father these people have no solution for you. Pray to your father. Don't look up to any of these our leaders. To call our church, even in the religious circle, none of them, what they are only grooming is just religion. They don't have spirituality. Go and pursue after spirituality. It is what Jesus says. Jesus says, Blessed are you who hunger and test after righteousness. You shall be filled. That is spirituality, righteousness. Look after that. Drop religiosity. Drop all of those things. It doesn't help you. May God help us. I just pray God open your eyes to see the truth of what I have just said. I'm not attacking anybody, but I'm just telling you the truth how it is. Thank you very much. God bless you.